队友呢？队友嘞？队友呢？队友呢？队友呢？哎，队友呢？队友嘞？队友呢？队友呢？队友呢？All right. Okay, let's do some quick intro. Who play who in this game for Signal Ultra on the Radiant side? We have James on the Boy Spirit, Iris on Nexusine, Abat on a Ricky. Grims on Enigma, Van on Legion Commander, while Team Young Kong Galacticos or YT on the Dire side, Hall on Puck, uh, Skille on Earthshaker, Soren on Beastmaster, Lun on Crystal Maiden, and Young PH on the uh, Ursa Warrior. 30 seconds to battle. <laughs> this pleases me to no end. <laughs> Such a limited imagination rescues the child. Hey, do you know? Do you know? Hey, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? The battle begins. And yep. Hmm. Impale. Perfect timing. Kile, what is he doing here? I think he's trying to drag the creep away. Mid lane, of course, gonna be Jamesy Voice Spirit. Finish his orb of corrosion already. This item is so OP, and this is gonna be the first time that rotates the bottom lane for Hall. YT Hall dropping a Dream Coil, killing the support. That's gonna be the first blood. Delay got the kill. But is that gonna be worth it? I mean, he leaving the lane. With Jamesy. Oh no. You see that skill lane teleporting down, and you see the level is only two or three. Jamesy jumping in immediately. Jamesy might be Jamesy instead, got caught here. Frost might dissimulate us to buy some time. Die because of the picture. Seems good. Seems good for Young Gong Galactic Oz. A mistake coming out from Jamesy. And a great gang by YT on the bottom lane. However, seems like Signal Ultra is going to strike back immediately with a kill on. Well, without any resistance, Signal Ultra about to lose upon tier 1 tower, which is not good at all. They are looking to trade top. Here we go with Skew Lay looking to use a Fisher. Oh, he missed the Fisher. Can he save the teammates? He lose three orbs and also a Dream Coil. Locked down Abad inside. He dropped it quite low. Only 25% HP. Skew Lay, first time using the Echo Slam. Maybe Grimm's coming in with a black hole for the first time. Only one guy inside. Quick of the trade. And his YT Loon falls. Oh my. Dropping quite low for Abad. He's still finding some angle to go in. Grimm's no more mana, no more HP. He will easily go down with Astro stepped in by Abad. And also the Jamesy and it's a double kill. Seemed to be a great fight by Team Signal Ultra in the end. Defend mid tier one tower and they're just gonna pop out, dropping a Dream Coil. The good thing about having a pack is so that is it is so easy to initiate with a Dream Coil. A very easy skill to use, fast reaction times. Illusory off-scene and they kill Grimms. Primo Raw comes out, he's trying to strike back, but still, oh, Young Kong Galacticos got two down. Nice strike back by Signal Ultra. Finally dropping a Dream Coil, combo up in the air, check, X slam, and it's Abad dropping so low, and Abad just jumped in. Trick of the trade, maybe? This is the main guy, James, right here, with a dissimilar, he's trying to find another angle to do Astro Steps. Pull him back with the 8th Lemonade and got it. First 10 kill belongs to the team from Philippines. It's Signal Ultra. However, Signal Ultra lost Ahmad in the third round of fight. Young PH. Shaker with the blink. Ah, the Echo Slam killing these damage. Jamesy falls. He bought back right away, I believe. No, no buyback. Here we go. Black Hole on three. Being interrupted by the Primal Roar. And now he died right away. His team Young Kong Galacticos fighting back. They got four kills. And it seems like in the mid game, we'll be long. To
Young PH attacking on a tower with tick up the trade, trying to kill all the summons. Fisher hits, but Fisher is actually a little bit blocked. However, do look at that with the uh, dream coil. Aiming for the Enigma, they know that Enigma doesn't have a black hole, so they are fully charging in without any hesitation. Signal Ultra lineup being destroyed completely by Young Kong Galactico. Young PS somehow still holding on in ages. Okay. Sorry. Black hole is on point in a previous black hole. But um, yeah, it would be hard for him to deal with young PS. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Very strong one by Team Young Kong Galacticos. Dropping a dream coil. Mickey stuck in there. Easy kill. Primal Roar. Some more. And a signal. Oh god. It's in, it's really falling apart by Radiance Team Signal Ultra. Their, I feel like their heroes lineup are a bit too greedy, like I said, and they don't have any reliable stunners. And um yeah, it's, a, it's all about a bit too greedy. If the game goes longer than 45 minutes, then they might Dyer's have a chance. But Young Kong Galacticos won't let that happen for sure. Your life At the bottom lane, oh, seems to be a, a real... He'll go in. Jumping in with the Fisher. Got that Riki though, dropping a dream coil, everything aim on that Riki. Arbat walking back to his teammates, turn on the BKB and jumping in by Young PX. Deleted that Riki. Primal Roar, again another supporter, illusory orb right next to the target. Surely gonna be a kill. Sorry, Rain. Game is hard, really hard for Signal Ultra. Their hero doesn't have a synergy in together next one gonna be BTN commander then how are you gonna fight this other warrior young ph is godlike now see earthshaker i think they use the earthshaker as a bait getting in but that Ares is being found by the necro guy and also the sentry actually stepped in oh jmc snatchy edges are gonna be a key point in this game turn to the bkb jmc echo stepped away bought back right away sending in the promo roar and aiming on enigma before he dropping a black hole oh echo slam dealing these damage all the oh no DMC, DMC spinning around with the asshole stamp and also Resonant Cloud to simulate DMC coming out. He's gonna come back full HP, full mana. Where is the support? He needs more men in order to win some more team fight. Arbat with a triple kill. How is he doing that? Nobody spot Arbat at all. And they simulate. Oh, wow. What a one fight. What a play by half. Aeon Disc. How are they going to start the attack? I think they let Nixon Zin go in with Spike Rapace. Oh, they're jumping in. They're aiming for the core first. And that the core falls without doing any single damage. Signal Van, the Legion Commander, Echo Slam also deals these damage. Primal Roar in order to counter a black hole on too. But where is the follow up damage dealer? Where is it? Riki down. The rest of team Signal Ultra just need to retreat. And it might be a team wipe for the first time in this game. They catch that JMC and none of them got a buyback. Crypto kill for young PH. Perfect play. That's when we saw Signal Ultra already back in this. Got it. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Radiant are scanning. It's time to go up on a high ground, ladies and gentlemen. Meanwhile, Arbat teleported back. Dyer's bottom tower is under They gotta watch out on Puck. I think Puck is the key. Really, Puck is the key of yesterday game and also today games. Because whoever picked a Puck got 100% win rate. It is so easy to play a Puck. If you are skillful, you know, anyone can play Puck. I can play Puck. Dropping a Dream Coy, you know, sending in Irisui Orb and then just let your teammate jumping in doing some, you know, the uh, Echo Slam. But I, I agree, the Puck is really, really high, high skill hero. 
It's not an easy hero to play at all. Look at that. The damage coming out. Just one damage done. Black hole in order to stop. And yep. That's it. Set. So many spells coming down on the small area. Forcing a GG call out of Team Signal Ultra. If Young Kong Galacticos take the lead 1-0. 39 to 22 game score, 34 minutes in, Young Kong Galactic Ghost 1, Signal Ultra 0. prolong the inevitable <laughs> if you can see me you're already dead <laughs> faith in fate restored. prepare for battle all right we are in the game going to do some quick intro who play who in this game for young kong galactic Horse on the radiant side hall on voice spirit skillet on Earthshaker. Saw Rain on Native Prophet, Lun on Oracle, and Young PH on Antimate for Signal Ultra on the Dire side, James C on Sand King, Arbat on Riki, Therese on Nixazine, Grims on Crystal Maiden, and Ban on Slada, Sand King mid by James C. Crazy stuff coming in. Sand King versus Haw. 30 seconds to battle. Now, nobody wins. Now, nobody wins. <laughs> the battle begins. All right. Come to me. The lane is quite interesting. They're gonna put a tri lane on top for Team Young Kong Galactic Ghost and Team Mage, Oracle, and Earth Shaker. Mid lane, we're gonna have the uh, Voice Spirit and. Here we go. Oh, an impel. An impel on that loan. Trying to walk away, but it seems like Seam Skewley is the one who actually blocked the support. Just a little bit. And um, that, here we go with the first blood. Hey, hey. First blood is okay. As long as anti mage leaps on. On top, Fortune Sand. Aiming for the Riki. Walking away, running out of mana for Riki. Jumping in front of him. Is that going to be a solo kill? He's on the way to a blink dagger. Sorin. Sorin jumming in. Epicenter perfect landing by Jamesy and also Burrow Strike killing a core and maybe killing a support too because the Burrow Strike is about to ready. No need because he's getting stabbed in the back. He's always uh, getting stabbed in the back. And Signal Van died by Hall with the assist of Lun. Uh, for both sides, we still don't know who's gonna come out of this one alive. They simulate and Astro steps away. Gonna get. Oh, that very nice dodge on the. However, the Ether Remnant, the fight is not over just yet. Lun just trying to buy some time for his teammate using the Pro Promise. And he's safe, actually. Hall is still in there in a three line. Anti Mace latching. Crystal Madden seems to be a disaster fight for Team Signal Ultra. They're coming into the Anti Mace with a 9 oh boy. And kill one, kill two. Last one is here. Ah, oh, but lucky he's got invisible. Cute. They spend too much. 2 0 is going to be a big present to Myanmar people in such a hard time right now. Oh no, oh no. Anti mate got caught and Young PS down for the first time in this one, but that has actually have to trade with the life of three teams. Kid is free broken. Van trying to go for the support, but it's not going to be that easy. Next one's going to be Grims down already. Seems like he's getting triple team. Vans now. They got the anti mate trade with free life. Is that worth it? But the fight is not over yet because Sand King moving in with the Burrow Strike. 
doesn't have enough damage, I believe. I think Dempsey just trying to get the uh, Bounty Rune. But he is now stuck in a Sprout. And Sand King falls. Sauron with a double kill right here. He's going for more. He's trying to teleport down in front of Ares. Chasing on him. Maybe lock him in a Sprout. Sprout with a smoke. They are looking to go in. It's a checker. Where are I gonna go? Dumping in, aiming for support, getting Burrow Strike inside, pull him back, and it's MC, get rid of Sorin already. Ban, Slytherin Crush, Astro steps, every one of Team Young Kong Collecting Goss needs to fall back to the tower. Echo Slam comes out, it's time to go up around two, Burrow Strike in, Fall Promise is gonna save Earth Shaker for a while. Gilei, however, falls, they can't fight, they can't win the fight without anti mage and anti mage is somewhere on top. And here we go with the Aether Lens. A lot of three for Young Kong Galacticos. Run all the game. Sorain, he just died. He might die two times in a row. And there he is. It's trick of the trade. And he's jumping in. Ah, but India afraid about the tower anymore. He's jumping in at the dive. Citrine Crush. What a play by Signal out right this. It's a genuine Filipino daughter style. But the boy only comes back. Ah, but still on dominating. And also a Burrow Strike epicenter. Oh, a Burrow Strike. No. It's Mother Boy. Q1. It's, let's go for round two. Another Burrow Strike game. And it's it. It's a team wipe. What a crazy game. For a while, like all the stunner fighting all the time. Radiance Look at that. Spike her pace. Maybe buy some time a little bit. Fortune Zen connected on two. They simulate. Burrow strike gain. They are catching on that hall. Can he do another astro step? He being saved. Echo slam on two on three. Oh, disaster for Team Signal Ultra. It seems like that picking lineup fall apart. Next one gonna be DMC. is three down. It's a Crap, set by Team White Jesus now. They were waiting for Signal Ultra to charge in. They used the bait. Oh my dear lord. Now they're gonna get slashed down. That's what I'm talking about. And do you see the Echo Slam? I'm gonna show you guys the damage. Echo Slam dealing only 195 damage, but what mattered the most is four man stun. That Riki for coming in quite deep and Riki being outnumbered by the whole crew of Team YG. Why, but Riki using Trick of the Trade and for Team YG is for just to fall back to Tier 4 Tower and they, that's where they lay. We are so close, ladies and gentlemen, to get. Let's go for the Trick of the Trade. We keep being locked down in there. He's still holding an Aegis. But James C damage just too much with the Pearl Strike. And also the Epicenter. He's still holding on Epi Epicenter. Will travel level 2. Pearl Strike away. Dissimulate from the inside. A bit too far from the uh, battle front. In the front line. It seems like YG front line being destroyed by this guy. Slider turn on the BKB. Epicenter Burrow Strike. That's it, it for Grims. And they end it with style with a Crystal Maiden double kill with a freezing field. Four down for Team Young Gong Galacticos. And we are just a matter of time away for 99 call. Radiance top barracks are under attack. Radiance top barracks is fought. <laughs> Radiance middle barracks are under attack. Welcome to 27 Club. 21 to 42 games go. This is the last resort. They are about to take down the last of the racks. Voice Spirit being saved by the support using the Fall Promise. Abbott is godlike. Radiant structures are fortified. 
Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. It seems to have everything under control in the early game, in, in the first like 10 to 15 minutes of the game. And then it falls apart because I, I think the way that... It, yeah. Later we're gonna talk about this. Why? Little strike inside. It's crazy game it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we are... Wait! They're still fighting on? Oh! Mana Void! Can he kill? Fall <laughs> promise on the anti man. He still fight on. And yeah, it's not anxious yet. Oh, triple kill! Switch and crush impale on anti man. Bot back into the game for the anti man. Seems to be. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, yeah. It's just gonna try one last fight. If they lose it, then it should be a GG call. Fisher to start the fight, going in to simulate, get rid of the support right away. He bought back too, but a crystal man and burrow strike on too. He hit that anti mage and also a voice spirit. Kind of interrupted the charge from Team YG. Now he's coming down once he touched down. Oh, luckily he didn't take the stun from the burrow strike. Oh God! <laughs> he stuck in there. Oh god. At the edge of the circle. Two buddies stuck in the trees. And then that's a GG call from Team Young Kong Galactic Oz. 1-1 one, one, Signal Ultra tight the series. We are take a break for a few minutes. And then we will jump into the second game of the series. All right, we are in the game. Gonna do some quick intro who play who in this game for Signal Ultra on the Radiant side. <laughs> Albert on Phantom Sazine, Eritz on Nick Sazine, Jamesy on Sand King, Grims on Abaddon, and Van on Darkseer. While uh, YG, uh, Young Kong Galactic Oz on the Dire side, we have Haw on Monkey King, Skile on Rubik, Saw Rain on Mars, the uh, Loon on Undying, and Young PH on T Blade, a Terror Blade. Monkey King is such, such a perfect last pick for Team Young Kong Galactic Oz. The heroes are super strong when it has the um, the Orb of Corrosion. <laughs> and now it's in a trend <laughs> with a high win rate. Death the battle my hands. begins. How many daggers am I holding up? That is two body room each. I'll always remember how foolish you looked. Perhaps that wasn't wise. That wasn't wise. Never. Never. This game is going to be hard for Sand King and like last game. Look at that. I'm gonna get harassed by the Monkey attack. King bomb lane. Oh, diving in, dropping quite low for Young PH, getting hucked by Dark Seer. So close. Oh, the decree is so many. Slowly dying. And it's, it's hot. Ballet strike against Jamesy. Jamesy, Fade Bow, maybe Telekinesis back, that should be the death of Jamesy. Nice one by Haw and Skile. Good. Ban it myself. Man, it's a one-man show production, sorry about. 
Oh, striking on the high ground and finish him off the fade ball, killing spree on Skule. This game gonna be quite easy for for Skule as a Rubik. It's all melee game anyway. Another burrow strike inside and play. This is one off. Lock it all down in the uh, arena of blood. Spears of Mars. Goss rebuilds all the spells you can imagine on two kills and maybe three. This is hard, hard game. I mean, when, when you pick all the main grouping. Radiant are scanning. Getting ready for the big fight. Mars ready to go from the sideway. Burrow strike on two. What a great way to start the fight. Here we go with Arena of Blood. Wall replica, all the stuff. Shooting some fade ball into. Look at Young PH shooting afar. Free attack by Young PH. It's time to deal some damage though. They spent too much time on that loon. Burrow strike in. Nice copy pass for Reno by Skule. And everyone is slowed down because of that loon. Burrow strike and Epicenter finally killed the TB. Oh my dear lord, but they can't kill that Sorin. Where is Ballet Strike come from? It's Haw, it's Haw. It fall down for Team Signal Ultra may be the first big team wide getting speared down to the tree and that is it. Double kill for Sorin. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. A really hard hiding TB inside of the golden triangle without any protection. Terror Blade is going to get picked off here. Oh, but he's quite tangy. And the race is in. The reinforcement is here. Turn on the arena of blood. Disaster for Team Signal Ultra. Oh no. Oh no. Disaster. Disaster. As the time goes by, T Blade is going to be stronger. And also, Monkey most the whole team smoke, they are up to something. They're gonna use that T-Blade as a bait. He has an eye on this rise and telekinesis is bad. Burrow Strike on 3, trying to save. It seems to be a good one. Vacuum and into the wall replica, setting arena of blood. It seems like YG down first on 2, but can they kill more? Uh, YG lost. Back to the fight here. Man, it's young PH kills. It's a trade between the support. Dark Sea Fall for support, which is not a good clean fight for them. It's time for young Gong Galactic God who just get in. Try to take down Roshan. They might want to go for round two because everyone that has to buy back do it right now. First time using the Bull Kong Command in a big team fight and the melee heroes destroyed. By Team 5G, Young PX did a double kill. This is the reason why picking all the melee heroes is gonna be hard in this game. They're gonna give away the ages. All they can do is just killing someone inside the Roshan pit. Vacuum back inside, and here we go with War of Replica at the same time. But strike at epicenter. This might turn the games around. Young PX gonna kill one. Yes, he can. Even though he goes down, he's gonna come back full SP. But the thing is, he has no support left. Who needs to buy back? It's gonna be a Monkey King trying to go down to mid tier one, trying to save the T Blade. It was stopped by the Bowler Strike. Oh, doesn't have the ultimate already. Will he just fight and save his teammates or just retreat? Burrow Strike on two and it's a tombstone. Everyone who joined this team fight will go down to the grave, will go down to the tomb. Come on, come to me. All of you. Saw rain. No bling dagger, but he does have. Ah, oh, Desolator waiting for Nixon C to just get inside Arena of Blood. All oh, the spell. Here we go with the full Kong Command. Whoever gets inside the circle gonna be damaged by all the monkeys. Also, War Replica, BKB, crazy strong AOE spells. And look at that, Young PS. Nobody spots him, but he keep on shooting all the time. However, Young Kong likely goes down to already. Oh, my dear, Young PS. Maybe it's time to just. Fall back, but Arbat just gonna keep on the run. On the run for the Phantoms of Sin. Arbat C, Arbat jump, Arbat chase, and Arbat jumping on him. Arbat is about to kill, shooting on them. Signal van. Oh, even Young PH cannot stand the damage. A bowler strike in order to stop Young PH. No more ultimate, so he just have to fight until he goes out. Arbat got all the kills. It fall down, it's a full team wide. Signal Ultra won the big team fight. From behind. Who's gonna open in first? Arbat finding some target he can't find. He might see the monkey. Monkey Prime will spring away. Arbat. 
Top lane jumping in already. Ah, oh, but Q skill lane for no more Rubik. He bought back right away. The fight start with the wall of replica. Maybe a vacuum back and also a loon. Loon was critical and he disappeared because of that. Ah, oh, but do not do that. It's a double clear. Ah, oh, but triple clear on the god line. Next one is going to be the Monkey King. He tried to so hard to fight in the circle of monkeys, but he died. It's four. It's Team Young Kong Galactic Gods about to get a team wipe. And is Signal Outro Chance going to the Roshan pit? Get the second ages of the game and go on the high ground of Team Young Gong Galactic Gods to make it over bed. Oh my dear lord. Crazy game it is. All five melee lineups from Team Signal Ultra is something very, very hard to see. Immortal. Oh, when ready to like this, do you even lift Abad? Oh, Burrow strike in. Made a mistake for TB. Can he use the Thunder? He tried to walk away. Sending up Arena of Blood. TB still standing over there. Bought back right away. Oh, hey, people kill for Abad. Where is he? Oh, now you see me. Now you don't. Triple kill for Abad. And then he trying to fall back. But however, the new big important news is YG stand still and then manage to defend. Abad with a blur, he's walking up, he's trying to stun with a barrel strike, and Abad Krikko him out. 1.7k damage done, no buyback for Mars. Abad killed the Ops of Awards, and now turn to kill the T-Blade, he's running away, 1.5 damage. Still to that young PH, he's still holding on, getting back to him into a wall replica, and also the Wukong command, I think Abad need to walk back. Where is him? Where is him? He is right here. Still full HP. They just have to wait for all the Wukong command and all the ultimate gone first. Keyblade still holding on a Thunder. Attacking. Kalei jumping in. Need to use the Thunder before he goes down. No chance. No buyback. Players ecstatic. Fans delirious. This is Utopia. Oh dear. It's three down. It's a triple kill for Arbat. And that's it, it, ladies and gentlemen. Signal Ultra won the whole series. Who won? 42 minutes in, 44 kills against 25 with all five melees lineup. What a performance by Team Signal Ultra. Sensational.